learning about abdomen. So first we will see the landmarks of the abdomen. Here we have the Z for process and the right and the left costal margins. Below the costal margins we have the subcostal plane which is at the level of third lumbar vertebra and here we have the umbilicus at the level of L3 and L4. Now marking the Z4 process which is at the level of 6 costal cartilage or the 9 thoracic vertebra there is another plane midway between the Z4 process and the umbilicus which is called as the transpyloric plane the level of 1st lumbar vertebra. Now I am drawing the ilium and ischium which are parts of the pelvic bone. And here we have the sacrum. Here we have the anterior superior iliac spine and the tubercle of the iliac crest. There is a plane passing through them which is called as the transtubercular plane at the level of fifth lumbar vertebra. These are the horizontal planes. Now we must draw two vertical planes on right and left side from the mid clavicular point to the mid inguinal point on either sides. So that forms the nine regions of the abdomen. Now I am going to draw a schematic representation of the nine regions of abdomen. There you go, the umbilicus. Here we have the transparent plane, here we have the transtubercular plane, then we have the right vertical plane and the left vertical plane. So there forms your nine regions. So first I am going to mark the right hypochondrium. Hypo means below, chondro is the adjective used for describing the ribs. So we have the right and the left hypochondrium just below the rib cage. And then we have the epigastrium here, which means just above the stomach. Makes sense. Then comes the umbilical region. As you can see, the umbilicus here. Then we have the right lumbar region and left lumbar region. You have your kidneys here. Then we have the right iliac fossa and the left iliac fossa here, which is in near the iliac bone. And then we have the hypogastrium here, just below the stomach, obviously, and uh, it has the urinary bladder.